Hello everyone, Fantastic here, and in this video I want to show all of you how you can set up 2-4 to four player local co-op inside of Stardew Valley in a new game. So first off, if you're going to be playing co-op, you're going to want to have controllers plugged into your computer for that split screen gameplay. So I am using Xbox 360 controllers plugged into a Windows machine. You can have one person on the keyboard and then one person on the controllers, but I am setting this up with two Xbox 360 controllers. So if those are plugged in, go ahead and hit new, and we're just gonna start a brand new game. If you just want to have them continue from an old game, you can just go ahead and boot that up. So first we're gonna go ahead and create player one, and then the game will start, and then we add in the second player. So let's just give it a name. I'll call it tutorial farm. Let's just pick a few randoms get a dog and let's choose a farm over here so the thing that's actually going to be important here is to open up this little icon here to make sure that there's going to be an extra house for the second player or third or fourth players so click on the advanced settings and you're going to need to scroll down here so the starting cabins here we need to select that to be the number of players minus one because player one is going to get the main house so these extra cabins are for players two, three, and four. So a two-player game has one starting cabin, a four-player game has three. You can choose whichever cabin layout you want and go ahead and hit OK. So now let's check skip intro, hit OK, and launch the game. So before we actually leave our house and start the game, let's hit escape on the keyboard and go over to the options. It's this little game pad here and you've got to scroll down pretty far down to where it says multiplayer start local co-op. So click there and it'll say press start to join the game. So you wanna do that on the second player controller. So I'm taking that out now and I'm going to press the start button. Okay, so now you can see we've split into two screens and we have the slot for the player two new farmer. So let's go ahead and create that character. We could just call this P2 and you can still use the keyboard to type by the way, if that uh, makes it a little easier for you. Favorite thing, okay, and then just random a character. Hit OK. And now player two is going to be good to go. So I'm controlling the character on the right with the 360 controller. So now if you want player one to use the 360 controller, then just pick up the player one controller slot controller. And we only need to hit B to cancel. So we're just using the character that's already created. And this character is going to be controlled with WASD on the keyboard and also the play one gamepad controller. If you had set it up with a three player game with two controllers, then player one is gonna be the keyboard. So if you were just doing two players with one controller, then the player two is gonna be that first controller and then player one would be the gamepad. But since this is a two player game, both the keyboard and the 360 controller and the player one slot are gonna be controlling the character on the left, the player one. So now the game's running. You can just go ahead and start your Stardew Valley game. So let's run both characters outside of the house here. You can see player two gets the little cabin, player one gets the big house. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So I hope this video helped you guys out in getting co-op set up in Stardew Valley. Thanks for watching. I've been fantastic. And I will see you guys in my future video content.